what's up everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of The Life of a Full-Time Reseller. Um, last week I did not put up an episode because nothing exciting happened or changed. So, sorry about that, but uh, just had to wait for some better content. Actually, you're going to see my eyes go back and forth because the Cubs right now are playing game, what is this, for the playoffs. So, I got it muted, but going back and forth with my eyes. I'm a huge Cubs fan, so, you know. Um, the reselling kind of lifestyle, um, I kind of wanted to touch on that topic for just a second. There's been several videos that have gone up on YouTube about other full-time resellers. Um, as example, uh, the Golden Finger Picker, which is named, his real name is Chad Pagel. Um, you've got, what's, what's his name? Pete, um, Pete, the Craigslist Hunter is his like synonym name. I think I said that right. Pseudonym. Yeah. Yeah. But there were some people who've been questioning their lifestyle saying, well, if you're so successful at reselling, then why in the hell aren't you driving, you know, a BMW and living in a huge mansion? I just wanted to chime in on this because other resellers have also chimed in on this kind of question. And what I've got to say is, as a reseller, resellers don't like paying full price for anything. That's in, that includes stuff that we don't even plan to resell. We don't like to invest more money than what we have to. About the only thing that I paid full price for was for my new truck I bought last year. I wanted to buy a truck that would last me for many, 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 many years. So I invested into a new Dodge Ram and it was a wise purchase. It has saved me literally a thousand dollars a month that I would have paid in shipping charges, picking up liquidated items from the warehouses across the state. Having a truck you know, my payments are high on it, but it saves me money in the long run. But some people who do resell, they actually do make quite a bit of money. Like most resellers don't want to talk about how much we actually make a year, but um, in order to do this lifestyle, we have to make a pretty good amount of money in order to do this. So. But most of us are actually kind of cheap when it comes to pampering ourselves. I eh, I am in a way, in other ways I'm not. Things that I collect, like guns, sneakers, autographs, I pamper myself. But in terms of clothing, I buy my clothes off the clearance racks or I wait till they go on sale online, pick them up. And my wife's the same way. She really doesn't collect anything, and most of her clothes are from clearance tracks. And uh, if you looked at us like in person, you would think that me and her were probably just, you know, just scraping by. But lifestyle doesn't equal happiness. We could have a huge mansion, you know, probably each have our own vehicle plus like a weekend fun little like brand new Dodge Challenger. And she could have the Louis Vuitton bags and all that crap. We would look like a million bucks if we did that, but would we actually be happy? No, because we're just not that way. So as a lifestyle of a reseller, most of us are pretty humble when it comes to appearance, you know? So just because we don't live in mansions doesn't mean we're not successful as a full-time reseller. It just means that we're frugal with our money. We like to make money, not spend money, if that makes any sense. But anyway, but hey, I just wanted to give you another live look at a unboxing of uh, some liquidated stuff. Cubs games back on the commercials over. You're gonna see my eyes going back and forth. But um, I'm gonna set this bad boy down for a minute and show you. Let's, I haven't done this, only did this one week so far. And I say, no, let me do this one more time. Let me show you a live unboxing of a liquidated product. I think this is electronics, but it might be home goods. I can't remember. And it is home goods. Uh, yeah, this box isn't totally like packed out full or anything. 
But uh, look at this box. You know, I pull this thing out. Ah, everything's falling. Pull this thing out. Excellent. Okay, that's broken. You can hear it. Hear the pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is probably going to be trash. I'll take it out later and see if I can glue some pieces back together, but that's probably gonna be trash. Something like this, a little cooler that you can put next to your desk, whatever. Travel cooler, uh, probably about 20, 25 bucks. Not a bad little thing to get in a liquidation. These kind of gimmicky things people like to buy. And then we got a doorway sit-up bar. Another kind of a gimmicky thing. Brand is called Cap. This, I will check Amazon, but this will probably go for about 10, 15 bucks. A doorway sit-up bar. Yeah, it's, that's, it's pretty gimmicky. But you know what, it sells. Liquidation box. We've got stainless steel. And that sounds broken too. Not everything you get in liquidation is sellable. I got a feeling whatever this is, it's also broken. Let me give you a little look. The other thing that uh, first thing I pulled out, that is glass, so I didn't want to pull it out live on camera. In this case, there's glass that comes out. Actually, no, it's not broken. It's just loose in the box. So that is actually, look at that. That is brand new. Still factory sealed, and it went to liquidation. And I will do a live camera kind of a, a look-see. Let me get into my Amazon Sellers app, and I'll kind of show what's going on. There's the Amazon Sellers app starting up. Let me hit scan product. Comes up like that. Put your barcode there. Well, oh, I gotta find it there. Just put your barcode there. Finds it, looks it up. Uh, looks like it's gonna be about 40. Oh, wait, somebody trying to sell it. $456, that's obviously not the real price. There's another person selling it. So that's like a $40 Tiki stainless steel large flame torch, 40 bucks. This is brand new, still sealed, so I can sell it as new, and that's awesome. So you will get stuff in liquidation just like this, stuff that's brand new, factory sealed. Awesome. And, but when it was in the box, it sounded like it was broken because it rattled around in it. But, uh, that's pretty nice there, it's about a $40 bill. I'll take that. Here we got a blow up mattress. These I sell in my flea market booth all day long for $14.95. And they sell uh, probably through, uh, two or three a week. Good, very good seller for the flea market booth. People buy these. And the last item in this liquidation box, is a Hamilton Beach brew station. And that's actually pretty nice. Flea market that, and more likely it's used. Um, I'll go ahead and pop it open, I guess. Only take a second. Because it sounds used. Well, bear with me, people. Bear with me. Well, I can't even cut tape right now. There we go. So yeah, this thing's used. Look inside of it. It's in good shape though. So I'll put this in the flea market booth. It'll go for about 25 in a flea market booth. So all together this box right here I just opened up. This was part of a liquidation where I got in four of these very large sized boxes. And um, out of this, you know, I'm gonna make about, let's see, 20, 40, 80, probably about 100 bucks out of this one large box. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, I think the liquidation had four large boxes and I got it for like 170, 180. So this one box right here, I got back about the less than three quarters of my initial investment. 
the other boxes I've already gone through and yeah I'm gonna make probably three times what I invested in this original auction of liquidated goods so this one we could talk in profit that's all you want I'll do one more large box here in just a minute so stay tuned okay this box first impression looks very profitable you're looking at it right now like I don't I don't see much looking at that right there this uh, Celestron that is a very expensive pair I think it's binoculars very expensive pair I'm seeing this uh, show Chauvet DJ that's also very expensive each one of those is like a hundred dollars plus probably closer to 200 I will give you an update in just a second pull out the first thing recessed down line nothing fantastic um, this one really intrigues me oh yeah these are expensive Celestron binoculars let me do a little typing okay these retail for $125 for these binoculars take a little quick gander inside actually well Huh, never mind. It's still factory taped on, on the top. Next thing. Actually, we got two of these Chauvet DJ things. This thing, it's been opened up. I have to take a little closer look at it. But the Chauvet 3, or Chauvet DJ, let's see. This retails for... This one's $53, so not a huge, huge, you know, win on this one, but that's like 50 bucks. I'll have to check it out a little bit closer. It's been opened up, but that will probably go into Amazon as long as it's in good condition. Here we got a Innovations Precision. Uh, that's probably going to my dollar box. I don't see anything of value there. Here's some headphones. Derek Caron N8 headphones headset with whatever. I'll probably just put these in my flea market booth for like five bucks. I'll make sure they work first, of course. Let's see, then we got, these look nice. Behringer HPS 3000 high performance studio headphones. Oh, these are only like 20 bucks. Never mind. I thought they'd be more than that. I'll probably flea market these. I'll probably put these full price about 20 bucks. Here is the other, oh, this thing's heavy. The Chauvet DJ equipment that I know is, isn't is cheap. The Chauvet Scorpion. And this thing retails at $149. So I'll check to make sure it's got the remote, make sure it's in working order. And if it is, it'll go into Amazon for at least 100 bucks used. So, so far this box, we're talking, it's probably about a $300 box at least right now. Excellent, excellent box. Uh, it says TV antenna. Up, I go into my dollar box. It's junk. We got a Galaxy S6 Edge case. I might check eBay prices on this. If not, probably my dollar box, my flea market booth. Here we got Mini Green Arrow Scarf DSLR game. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to research that a little bit more. No idea what that is. But uh, here we got a standing light. Flea market booth, probably 15 bucks. As long as it's in good work, work, working order, it's not damaged or anything. Got to adjust this box. Here we go. Let's see. Tozo LED desk lamp, eye carrying. Uh, probably another $10. Just a little lamp. Our biggie stuff I pulled out first. Black 4 reading lamp. Another reading lamp. Probably another $10, $15. Nothing huge. But I'll make sure it's it's good working order. The last, most of these lamps I'll put into my flea market booth. Oops. And another lamp. Like I said, $15, bucks, Maybe. Um, let's see. Uh, keyboard, Eagle Tech, 
Uh, I think this will probably go for about 20 bucks. I'll probably, I'll check, make sure it works first. If it works, probably Amazon for maybe mm, 25 or so. It's, it's an okay brand. It's not the best, but it's an okay brand. Eagle Tech. Two things left. Wilson, oh, it's a antenna. It's, I'll probably, uh, I might dollar box that. That's kind of junk. And the last thing in this box is mounting dream TV wall mount. This thing's heavy. I'll probably check um, Amazon prices on that thing. This retails for like $38. It has a full motion articulating arm, blah, blah, blah. I might check it out, see if it's all there if it is. I'll put it on Amazon, but uh, that's two full of these large boxes. I opened up live on camera for you guys so you know exactly what you can get in these boxes. No, you know, hidden camera tricks or anything, but that's truly what you can get. So hopefully you enjoyed that, and thanks for watching, and have a good one.